Ethereum items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones. With Yo, what is up, guys? Jersey Bolts here. Hurry, know what's up. We out here at MGM Grand Las Vegas, Nevada. We're gonna go 6 0. Let's go take that dub, baby. Look who we have here. World Star. Yes, sir. Obviously, repping. Look at yes, that. Sir, repping hard, man. Fresh as fuck. Shoe Palace. <laughs> Bro, but one day, one day, hey, pretty soon, that's gonna have the world start logo right so there. They're gonna have one more right here on one side and me <laughs> on the other. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, baby. Just like that. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, guys, so pretty much right now, we're just gonna go get that media workout in 10, 15 minutes, just shadow boxing, talking to the media. That's it. I mean, I'm not gonna get a video of it. I'll probably put my dad's Facebook Live or something, but, uh, ready to eat or something man I'm, i want to win i want to fight already but let's get that workout in man this place is looking like peter piper pizza or chuck e cheese but for adults it's crazy a little bit something for the center the center the center Las Vegas is highly beautiful Wilder Ortiz how's everyone feeling out there Vegas Las Vegas how you feeling yeah. all right that's good this is not a golf match we are actually prize fighting and we are joined alongside by a young man who's undefeated five and no coming your way from a Bronzeville Texas three knockouts just 20 years of age, turned professional last year and most recently stopped Gino De La Paz on national television on FS1. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fast rising Omar Juarez. 5 0 with three knockouts. He's going to work out and we will get an opportunity to talk with him after he's done. I'm sure they'll be on, take photos with them. Get their autograph, listen. Young fighters like this, they get an opportunity to fight on the grandest stage of them all. Here in Las Vegas, Omar Juarez looked outstanding. Hey look, as he's working out right now, I'm gonna tell you what you can do. Go on YouTube, type in Omar Juarez. You will see his latest knockout against Chilo De La Paz. It is a candidate for knockout of the year. He put him down face first. A vicious knockout. So go on YouTube if you haven't seen a fight. That's okay. He's just 20 years of age. Search him on YouTube. This is a bad young. He's not gonna do much, is he? Hey Mario, tell him, can he do that again? Whenever, like ask him to do it like before, and I'll, get, I'll crank the crowd up a little bit. Okay. Whenever you want, whenever you want. Just good to be able to do that, crank the crowd. The RGV, the Rio Grande Valley area. Now you're here on one of the biggest parts of the year. Wild Ortiz 2, Las Vegas. You aren't even old enough to gamble yet, and you're fighting here in Vegas. How do you feel? It's an absolute blessing. It really is. And I want to thank all my supporters. I want to thank God for everything. My coaches, my family and friends. Uh, very, very early in my career. I'm really time to know. But I'm only getting more comfortable every time I fight. And sooner or later, the world's gonna know more. Yeah. You have some great coaches around you who've been around some talented fighters, world class fighters. What have they told you as you prepare for a fight week of this magnitude? It's different here in Las Vegas. 
fighting here, having media obligations, doing workouts like this, and dealing with the you know the pressures of Las Vegas as well. It definitely is different, but in my mindset, a ring is a ring, fight's a fight, and I'm gonna go take care of business just like I always do. Let's look back at your most recent knockout against Gino De La Paz. I've been telling people here at the MGM brand, if you haven't seen it, search it up on YouTube. Omar was Gino De La Paz. Can you go back and, and still remember? I'm sure you've gotten a lot of attention since that knockout. Yeah, that, 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 that was a crazy night. It really was. It was a couple of trash talking real good at the wings, but um, that knockout happened pretty, pretty fast. It really, really did. And I still see it on social media today. When we talk to you at this time next year, November 20th, 2020, where do you see yourself in your career one year from now? God's timing, God's plans are different. I don't know. I, I honestly don't, but I see myself soon to be a world champion. Soon. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Omar Juarez, everybody. The young 20 year old sensation from Brownsville, Texas. All right, so we got that out of the way. Quick little shadow box, and that was it. Not, nothing, nothing special. Took pictures of the fans, signed autographs. Man, it's a beautiful feeling, but uh, can't wait for fight night. I honestly can't. Man, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all morning. Be ready, because tomorrow, we're gonna have a press conference. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get good footage of that. I don't know if my family's gonna be able to get in, but I'm gonna try my best to get some footage of that. Really, really good footage, because there's not gonna be a lot of people. The next day. <laughs> Damn. All right, this place is bigger than I thought. It's huge. It's like, it's big. It really is. It's my first time being here and it's crazy. this $20 salad I'm probably gonna eat like one-fourth of it. it sucks to cut weight it's probably the hardest part about boxing all right so we are on our way to the press conference I'm thirsty man I'm already on weight but uh I'm I'm thirsty man I really really am I don't even know where I'm going I want to fight already man really I want to eat something <laughs> Okay, so we're here at the press conference. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'll be able to get footage of it, but um, hopefully I can. I know it's gonna be televised, but hopefully my dad will be here and get live of it and I'll just put it in there. But man, I just wanna weigh in already, man. I'm getting all these weird cravings. But it's pretty nice in here, it really is, look at this. It's nice. But for real, for real, I just wanna weigh in. I really do. And I got my name and everything. Let's get it. And ladies and gentlemen, open up the, as we take a look at the prospects that we have on tap, I mentioned Omar Juarez, he's 5-0, three wins coming by way of Nakam. Just 20 years of age, made his national television debut. If you haven't seen this highlight reel knockout, go on YouTube and seek it out. Omar Juarez wiped out Gino De La Paz on FS1 back on August 24th. He's rising, he has the skill, he has, he's certainly a fan favorite down in the Rio Grande Valley area in Texas. Please welcome Omar Juarez. Hello everyone. I wanna thank my, my managers so much for this opportunity, Luis de Cubas and Bob Santos. I wanna thank Al Heyman. And coming Saturday night, I'm physically and mentally in the best shape of my life. I'm looking to take that W. I'm a crowd pleaser. I'm looking to give the fans a show. And I'm ready, 100% ready. Thank you so much and God bless. 
Thank you very much to Omar Juarez. He will be in preliminary action on FS2, 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 Pacific time. Do not miss it. And we'll start off with Omar Juarez. Omar, 5-0, three knockouts. You finished off Gino De La Paz sensationally. How are you going to follow up that performance here on Saturday night? Well, just like any fight, I come 100% prepared physically and mentally. Right now, I feel that I am in the best shape of my life physically and mentally, and I'm just gonna go and get the job done. I know my, my opponent, this is my first six round fight. I know my opponent's very, very durable, but I'm looking to take that W this Saturday. Thank you very much to Omar Juarez. Now I just met Sean Porter. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even process what's going on, but man, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to weigh in. Three more hours to the weigh-in, so we're just, we're just waiting, kicking back, waiting, relaxing, and just, it's go time. Wow, tan joven que te miras. Tan joven que te miras. No, no, ya se ve que lo corrieron sin aceite al señor. No marches. Así yo, a mí sí me corrieron sin aceite. Ya estoy desvielado. ¿Y de dónde manejabas que ganaste de tener tu hijo? Este manejaba pues en todos Estados Unidos, carnal, de ahí de, de Bronx salía para Chicago, salía para Los Ángeles y pues ahí estoy ya. Muchas gracias. Gracias. No, 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 the official final way in Deontay Wilder Ortiz part two. Record <laughs> 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 a perfect five victories, three by knockout, no defeats. Presenting Omar El Relampago. <laughs> Once again, the undefeated Kovalev said when Kovalev said that if you bet on him against Canelo, he didn't think he was gonna win. Now I yet to respect the champ Canelo. You know what? He's an amazing boxer, and I think um, you need to respect that because it takes discipline, responsibility, and his image of boxing. Yep. He is the face of boxing, and you always tell me. I actually told Canelo this myself last week. Violin told me Canelo that you do a lot in the community. He goes, I do it for my heart. That people don't even know what he does for people. That's what I'm saying, bro. You know what? Uh, he doesn't say anything. I know it. I know it, brother. He's and a great I person. Say that yes, he's an amazing person, brother. And nobody sees exactly what he does, how he gives back to the community. So come on, let's let's feel proud that he's one of ours. Okay, that he came out from nothing and look at what he is, and he's helping all the. That's all of us to reach yeah. those goals. Okay, last thing, December seven, all you guys, Andrew Reese, Joshua, who wins and how? Andrew Andy Reese, Andy Reese. What round? Uh, six, eight. Andy Reese, fifth. Thirty seconds of the first round. <laughs> <laughs> 
going to Saudi Arabia? Uh, check that out. <laughs> oh, how cute! I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we uh, we're done with the weigh-in. Thank God. And uh, now we're gonna go get some food. Finally, man, I've been craving food. My mom asked, like, hey, should we get an Uber there? Nah, let's go ahead and walk six miles to the destination, Cheesecake Factory. Let's get it, man. I'm hungry. And plus, we get to sightsee. <laughs> it smells like weed. Nah, but it's beautiful here, man. Hey, hey, it works. A ver, a ver. Dude, we could have fit like four more people in here. Lay down right there. Look, three look, people. At least. Okay. Yeah, look, my, de is, my dad could have laid down right here. Yeah. 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 Everyone kept looking at this. 10 out of 10 recommend. Yeah, like, I'm in a cracking. I was like, good job. It's hot. In Caesar's Palace, but no, the cheesecake, the cheesecake factory is actually in here. So we gotta, we gotta get in here to get to the cheesecake factory and get myself a pasta. Now I'm just so anxious to fight. That's it. I'm so anxious to fight. I'm just trying to eat and we're going on we're going through all this extra shit. I'm just trying to eat man. <laughs> Protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. Joe Goosen and Lennox Lewis, former heavyweight champion here. Wilder Ortiz 2 tonight on pay-per-view. You can see the crowd still coming in here tonight. They'll fill it up a little later on. Get fight number, where are we, four. We've had some interesting fights already, fellas. And here's Omar Juarez. With a couple of surprises. Now, Juarez, don't blink because he can really fight. You can see how fast he is. You know, with th first three punches he throws. Yeah, and he will go to that left hook to deliver that double hook all night long. Now, he, he's got to be careful he doesn't drop that right hand when he goes to that body, which he does every so often, but he's a very high-energy, high-output, very aggressive fighter that can punch. I mentioned he's a motivational speaker. Uh, he graduated high school at 16. He's already earned good body shot. He's already earned a proclamation of recognition from the Texas State Senate. He is a very impressive young man, and he comes out firing in round one. 
Yeah, and he's in there with a real tough kid. You know, uh, uh, Kevin Shacks, uh, you know, went up against a kid named uh, Alejandro Ramos, who was 8-0 at the time with eight knockouts. And he was the first guy that took him the distance. Oh. Even going, he just got backed up there with a nice uh, Hard hook. Oh, look uh -huh. at his body shots. Ooh. And down he goes, right there. Just breaking him down. Juarez is way too fast, way too strong. This doesn't happen to Shaq too often. Let me tell you, he's a, he's a very durable fighter. He has waited for this moment, said one day I'll fight at the MGM Grand, but Juarez right away oh. firing. Hard body shot again, crippling hook. And a body shot again, left of the body. Yeah, don't blink. This guy puts everything into his punches. These are all hard shots. They're fast. It's a withering body attack by Omar Juarez. Shaq's in survival mode, and there's a lot of time. We're only halfway through the first round. Let me tell you, Juarez is throwing every punch with, 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 with some strength. You know, speed. Every time he throws to the body, you know, he's trying to break a rib, it looks like. Yeah. You can see that, that right elbow by Shax is keeping that down, saying, don't hit me there again. That was blocked again. It drove back. Another body shot. Versatile attack by Juarez as well. He turns south off yep. his head. Yep. Switches around. He'll do that. And he does it to good effect. Body and then head. Juarez now out of the southpaw stance and down goes Shax for the second time this round. This won't last long. No, no. Shax looks like he's had enough. To let, the truth. let me tell you, Juarez is coming with some serious hey. power because when you see, in, when you see, it, it, right, here's the first knockdown, and of course the highly aggressive Juarez, bam, he just slips right into the body. Hands come down a little bit from Shax. Right hand hits the elbow with the hook, but then sneaks that little left hook right through the guard and drops him down. And here's Juarez with an onslaught of punches, powerful punches. First, he starts off at the head. Then he brings them down to the body, but oh, got knocked down there. Uh, and from the southpaw position. Yeah. Juarez said when he started, he was very scared. He said okay. when the switch goes on, I'm a different person, and he is. Man. I mean more reason uh, to, to, to stop that fight. Than, I wondered if this one. should be fight. I agree with you, but I was wondering if that one was going to be stopped too. So you, you, you thought that was the right call, but I do. Bears I do. out right now. Because I think he got hurt to the body in the, for the second knockdown. Oh, oh boy. Oh. That's a knockdown? Yes, it is. Yeah, Shot to the body. Shax goes down. Looked like he slipped as well, but certainly that came from a punch initially. Nine. Yeah. Vic Dracula says that's enough. He barely got up at 10. That was a hard body shot. And Sir has his knockout. And that's a. Let's take another look at this again. There, there we go. A body shot blocked by it. And so look, the little right hand. Yeah, th that's the what chest? I thought. Uh huh. That's what I thought. It uh -huh. wasn't a body punch. Yeah. It was a straight right hand. Yeah. Uh huh. Did that hit him right in the chest. In the no, chin. right on the chin. Oh, Boom, right there. Yeah. There we go. So much for a sore elbow. And then he spins out, pivots out, and just lets Shax fall. Uh huh. So Warriors' right hand actually came through in the last round. Wow, short as well. One shot. We'll step away for a moment. There it is on the button. Juarez 6 and 0. A winner in Vegas. The arena starts to fill up. Getting closer now toward the main event and the big fights. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon and get the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 59 seconds in round number 6. Our referee in charge, Vic Draculich, reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Omar El Relampago Juarez. Let's go! We 6-0, 4 knockouts. Took the win. Now it's time to eat. Like, really, really eat. Like, I'm gonna get a burger or something, I don't know, but man, what a hell of a fight. My first six round, I felt really, really good. Honestly, like, I'm surprised because the elevation here, but I felt really, really good. Thank you guys for all the support and everything. I'm not getting the video yet, I'm just gonna do a little bit of sightseeing and just have fun, you know? Just see here in Vegas. My first time in Vegas, so might as well just vlog everything, record. We're gonna go eat right now, so I'll show you guys what I'm gonna eat right now. You already know what we're eating. Ooh. Damn, look at that. You already know. Well, that was. <laughs> Man, that was scary. Oh. Oh, son, look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that. Damn. So after this meal, I'm gonna move up to super heavyweight because I'm not gonna stop eating. When you come back, let me know. All right, they dropped us off here. And then we gotta find our way back. Now nah, we know our way back. I was just kidding. But uh, of course we do. But look at this. It looks awesome at night. It's bright. Damn. What? Am I ready to cut weight? I'm, no. I'm ready to cut oh, weight. Oh, you're ready to cut weight? That's true. Sebastian is going to nationals in two weeks. Hey, why did you jump off on the side that we don't know where we're at? I know where we're at. I think. We're on the like, opposite side of where we're staying. Dude, look at the stars. It's okay. More exploring, sightseeing. Look at the stars. Chick from New York. I don't even know what her name is. It's a roller coaster. It's pretty cool. Mandalay Bay. Excalibur. Nah, guys, but for real, that fight went by like in a breeze. Like I didn't even, I didn't even process what happened. Like I'm still like in shock, kind of. Oh, we're in already. Yeah, but it was crazy. It really, really was. <laughs> Six fights in a year. Well, I had one last, like the year, last year. But yeah, five fights this year is crazy. Honestly, honestly, like Vegas is only cool if you're 21 or over. If you're, if you're under 21, like there's not much you could do, you know? Just walk around and you can't do, you can't do much. I mean, we're, I'm, I haven't done, I mean, of course, this is like a business trip for me, right? But. If I were coming like with my friends or whatever, I would I would be the one that's not doing anything. Like for real, look at all these casinos and stuff. Like I can't do any of that. Savvy's can't do any of that. My brother can, but he's not even focused on that. Well, you guys, fun's over. <laughs> we're heading back home. Kind of sucked because right after the fight, we had to stay up because. The, the shuttle takes us to the airport at 4.30 in the morning. Our plane leaves at 7, and we're not getting home until 3 p.m. <sighs> but that's all for today's video, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and as always, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and I'll catch you all on the next. Thank you all so much for the support. Peace. Put your hands to the moon.